Hi class, this is Mrs. Lyons, and this is a short video to show you how we count atoms when we're looking at chemical compounds. Okay, so let's jump right in. Here we have what is a chemical shorthand for three barium chlorides. What this tells us um, is how many um, particles and how many elements, atoms of elements, are in the compound. There's a couple of numbers that have terms, uh, vocabulary words that we need to associate. The first is three. This three in front of a compound is called a coefficient. What the coefficient does is it tells us that we have three of whatever's in front of it. So in this case it's telling us that we have three BACL2s. Okay, the number behind the chlorine is called a subscript. And what that's telling us is that we have two chlorine atoms. It only means anything for the element that it's directly behind. Okay, so in this compound there's no subscript behind the barium. What we do is we assume when there's no subscript that it's automatically a 1. So let's look at counting some atoms. <clears throat> Here we have three examples. We have Na2O, okay? So if we want to count how many sodiums, how many Na's, and how many oxygens, how many O's are in this compound, this one's pretty simple. We just look at the subscript. The two tells us we have two sodiums. There's no subscript after the oxygen, so we assume one, meaning there's one oxygen atom in this compound. So we get a little, add a little bit of uh, difficulty to this. We have BA parentheses NO3 parentheses 2. <clears throat> what, this, what these parentheses mean and this subscript 2, it means that there are two of everything inside the, inside the parentheses. So if we look at this compound, we have barium, we have nitrogen, and we have oxygen. Okay. There is no subscript after the barium, so we know that there's just one barium atom. The nitrogen, again, there's no subscript, so that means there's one, but because it's in parentheses, we're going to multiply that two times one to know that there are two nitrogens. And finally, the oxygen, this three subscript tells us there's three oxygens, but again, we're going to multiply that by two, so two times three, is six. So we have six oxygens. <clears throat> this example, the next one, has both a coefficient and a subscript in it. Okay, the coefficient tells us we have four of this entire compound. So we have four AlCl3s. So what does that mean in terms of how many aluminums and how many chlorines do we have? This four multiplies by the aluminum, but there's only a a one aluminum, so four times one, we have four aluminums. The subscript three tells us we have three chlorine atoms. Three times four then, because we have four of everything, four times three means we have twelve total chlorine atoms. All right, and the last one, this one's really a little bit tougher because it's got parentheses, a subscript, and a coefficient. Okay, so this is telling we, us the coefficient says we have two of this whole compound. And then the two subscript behind the parentheses means we have two NH4s. So let's think about this. We have nitrogen, hydrogen, and sulfur in this compound. All right, how many nitrogen do we have? Well, the two subscript, we assume a one, so two times one would tell us we have two nitrogens. However, since there's a 2 in front, we're going to multiply by 2 again. So 2 nitrogens times 2, we have 4 nitrogens. Okay, what about the hydrogen? Hydrogen, we have a subscript of 4, so there's 4 hydrogens. But this 2 outside of the parentheses also goes to the hydrogen. So 2 times 4 is 8, right? But then we've got the coefficient of 2, so 2 times 8 we have a total of 16 hydrogen in that compound. Finally, we have sulfur. 
Sulfur's got a 1 after it, assumed 1 since there's no subscript. So 1 sulfur, we have to multiply that by the coefficient of 2 for a total of 2 sulfur atoms in this compound. All right, I hope that helps a little bit in helping you figure out how we count atoms and some of the terminology involved with them. I will see you in class.